guys, it's Asha. What's up? Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you are notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you hear noise, it's my heater is freezing in my room, so I'm sorry about the noise. Try to ignore it. I upload every Thursday at 7 p.m. Today, I'm going to be talking about what my first semester was like at FIT, and FIT stands for the Fashion Institute of Technology. It's my first year and first semester. So everyone has been asking me what it was like and I'm finally going to get to talk about it today. So to make this easy on my part, I broke this video down into, into a few categories. First one is classes, second social life, and three where I sleep. The first semester of fall 2018, I took five classes, which in total is 15 credits. All of those classes were requirements. So the five classes I took were Marketing 101, which is Marketing for Integrated Marketing Communications, a really long name. I took Digital Layout, Multimedia, and Fashion Business Practices. My major is Advertising and Marketing Communications, which is the AMC major. So I'm just going to briefly talk about each class that I took. For Marketing 101, I wasn't thrilled with how my professor taught, but he was a really nice person in general. In marketing, you just learn like the basics of marketing and how to market an item. For that class, I had like three quizzes, two tests, a final, and a midterm. The essays weren't really that terrible, but I did fail my final exam because I did not really study so well. I was very focused on my YouTube channel and I should have been focused more on my schoolwork because it was like the end of the semester, but I wasn't really that focused. I was like, whatever, I'm a freshman, it's okay. But no, because all of my grades lead up to my junior year which is when I go into hopefully I could get into the fragrance and cosmetic course and yeah I would really suck if I didn't because all of this is to help myself go like that's my goal so if I don't reach that goal it's kind of like what was I doing that for so I really have to like keep my head straight can't go like oh okay YouTube no I have to like have to upload once a week and then school work so like yeah, I should have realized that then. For the tests and quizzes, it's only multiple choice. So the problem with the tests and quizzes were that it was worded kind of weird for me. I don't know how the other students felt, but I'm dyslexic, so it was kind of hard for me to understand like the wording. So for my final project, I had to write a type of marketing and then a marketing within that marketing and then give examples. And then it's like all about the four P's and all that kind of stuff. So I, I don't know, it's complicated, but it was actually not that difficult. Okay, so now for my digital layout class. And digital layout is just learning Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. And I already got that like down. So I was pretty good in that. And I do like, I do it in my free time. And the professor was like, you do it in your free time? I'm like, yeah, it's fun for me. And I guess, like, I don't know. Whenever he went to the other students and graded, like, them, he's like, okay, you know what? Um, he, like, always critiqued them, but when he came over to me, he was like, nope, this is perfect. I'm like, great. Next class is multimedia. In multimedia, we learn the basics of PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. This class had to be the class where I felt like I was falling behind. The concept of everything was easy and doing it myself at home was fine, but when it came to being in class and the professor teaching, just like the speed of the professor just ain't it for me. But all you do is walk into the class, complete the modules, and then leave the class. And altogether it was four hours. Um, but you still like complete each module and then you just leave the class. The next class is fashion business. Now, at first I didn't really like this class, but then as I got more used to it, I was like, okay, this class isn't that bad. You would think like, oh, fashion business, but it's basically economics and business. It's not really fashion at all. It's more learning like the basics of business and just how to like sell it's basically like 
marketing 101 and then you also incorporate like more business into an economics kind of like that the tests to me personally were really difficult he takes like outside examples and puts it in it's like more common sense which i did not really understand at all i just really wanted him to pull questions from the powerpoint and put it in make it simple but like it was kind of complicated that's the only thing also, most of the students in the class were FBM majors, which is fashion business practices, and it was kind of annoying because the professor kind of geared things towards those students more. So that was a little bit annoying, but whatever. English. English was probably the best class and my most favorite class because the professor was so nice, so chill, she was really funny, she made the class a lot of fun, and all we learned in that class, it was like, I had that class Monday, and I had it, I think also, when did I also have it? I think I also had it Wednesday. On Mondays, we would learn, um, on Mondays, we would just do like free writing, which was my favorite, it was so therapeutic for me, and... We would watch movies and then we, we would have to like write stuff about it and it was a lot of fun. And then on Wednesdays, probably were the longest um, class time because we did like grammar and I knew um, I was like probably one of the only students in that class that knew like a lot of grammar because in middle school I was taught really well with English and grammar. So... It was easier for me and it was like it was a little annoying because um when I was like done with something the other students were like still working on whatever it was but I guess now I kind of went into other people's shoes because when I'm in another class and like the professor goes too fast and then I'm like behind or something and like all the other students are just like on top of their stuff I guess I'm in their shoes. Oh, also, I did not sleep in the dorm. I have an apartment with one girl, and I went to high school with her. So I can't really talk about what it's like to sleep in a dorm, but I bet it's nice. I mean, I don't know. So <laughs> let me know in the comments how it is. For social life, it's really easy for me to make friends. Everyone is so nice, and... I guess since I have a YouTube channel, it's a little easier for me to make friends because, not because like, oh, I'm so famous, but like, because I guess I like push myself to be a little more out there and everyone's really, really nice. And I met my social media uh, manager, well, one of my social media managers, um, the first semester. He is so cool. I'm going to leave his Instagram down below. He's really, really cool. And yeah. For my finals, for my classes, I did not do well because I was more focused on my YouTube channel. And I should have been more focused on my schoolwork and pre film my videos. But no, I did not do that. I'm like, oh no, it's going to be alright. I could do both. It's all about time management, I realized. And I'm really going to be more careful this semester. Because I do want to get into the fragrance and cosmetic course, which is really, really hard to get into. So I'm really going to like put my head in the game for this coming um, semester. And the semester for me starts on the 28th, which I think is... Is that a Monday? I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys loved it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer any of them. And make sure you go enter my giveaway, which I'm going to expand. Um, the Expand? Is that how you call it? I'm going to extend the giveaway day. So, so make sure to go enter my um, fresh face giveaway. And I love you all so much. And thank you so much for 30,000 followers. I just hit it today and I'm so, so excited. And I usually don't look at the numbers, but our family is growing and I'm so excited. And it just means the world to me that you like like my things, watch my videos, like my posts, and are interested. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. And oh, follow me on Twitter. I really don't like 
you know, promote my Twitter that much, but you know what? Go follow my Twitter, and I'm also posting a lot of stuff on Poshmark, so I'll link my Poshmark down below so you guys can check it out, and I sell things for good prices, so make sure you go follow, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!